cracking, it's cracking. I'm out here in the UK, I'm straight out of Compton Tour, man. Much love. And you know you rockin' with, man. It's a little easy to me about that online, so we finna get it cracking, man. If, if you understand this, you understand that, um, you know, you know, you know, uh, Marcelo had got big on us. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? On that second now. And, second, um, that album's crazy, man. Yeah, we did something, yeah, we did something that never been done before. Because they really thought that it was a, you know, like a real street beef going on with the No Limit Cash Money thing. And actually, it was just more like, um, I ain't gonna say it was a misunderstanding, because like I said, it was just what it was. For us being loyal to who we fuck with, like meaning that if I fuck with, I fuck with the fellow, I fuck with C, I'm gonna be loyal to them. So if we in the club, I'm gonna be on this side with C. You know, I'm not gonna be on the cash money side, but just because that's who I came here with. I came here with, with C, you know, I came here with them. So I'm gonna be here with them. So we might walk around and see each other, dance each other over like that, yeah. but we just, you just was loyal to who the, the circle you was with. You know what I'm saying? So when something kicked off, you know, it just never happened. You know what I'm saying? Like it never got to that point. Damn. So well, you know, it got, you know, so we was too, we was, we was always around each other, man. Like, that'd be crazy. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, like I see the power was that beat. You got the high eight power that felt like, you know, they had something to say about that shit. Yeah, it's crazy, man, because the thing is- And I'm gonna is... tell you something else. I don't care, I don't care how they feel about it. That's fucking uh, Sporty T, yeah. That's my dog. Sporty T was, you know, that's the dude I came up under. Sporty T was a real gangster out here. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I, I looked up to Sporty T. He taught me how to dress, he taught me how to do a lot of shit. Because I don't like, the reason why I'm speaking on it, because I don't want people, they don't give him the, the credit he deserves. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? For real. Like he deserved more than what they're trying to give him. You see what I'm saying? And like I said, the shit he, the, the uh, situation he had with Cash Money, that was just, that was between him and, you know, the, his situation with them. But it's not gonna take it away from that as a man, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah. like I said, at the time, Cash Money wasn't, you know, they ain't had the deal yet. You know what I'm saying? When Forty was doing all that. And like I said, it was a no limit affiliate. You know what I'm saying? Because we didn't get in the video. Who's was at the video shoot. You see what I'm saying? With the wild boy, you feel him? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got the bitch. Yeah, that wild and, boy. Uh, that video look crazy, though, man. Yeah, you know I mean, it's just the whole idea, man. It's now, right now, we talking twenty some years later. Nah, yeah, I'm not yeah. about to be. I'm not about to sit here and, and start sugar coating shit because you don't want this to come out. No, man, fuck that. That's what it was. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? You was trying to, you were trying to fuck his, his the cash money name up. You feel me? So you was in competition. That's competition. You're competitive, so you felt you had to do something to get to get the buzz off of them. You see what I'm saying? So you did that shit. Look, you came to the video shoot, and it was like, yeah, we saw what the song was about. We didn't know what the song was yet. You know what I'm saying? So we just sitting there to show love. You know, that nigga like, man, we heard the song. Like, man, you know, we can't be in that. Like, we ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? We jumped. We pulled up in the Range Rover. We pulled off like niggas tripping. You know, <laughs> like, you know, we ain't understand this shit. But, like, that's her shit, man. Like, that, I don't, it, it's crazy, man. man. And I, I, I like that to get out there, man, because it's history. Yeah, you know? no, de definitely. And I mean, even when we did the Wild Boys um, little video, we did a bit of... Uh... Like did the knowledge on Sporty T, we could see that there's a lot of history to him just as an artist, and that was just like you know a portion of his career, which was um, you know, like I said, we could look at that in rap. There's a lot of rap kind of beefs and backwards and forwards. Um, so that isn't the totality of his accomplishments or his career or what he laid down for the scene and the culture, you know. Right. Yeah, and man, you got yeah. I just you got to give him his credit, man. Like he yeah. did, he pioneered all that shit, man. So. I'm not gonna let him discredit my partner like that, man. Because, uh, like I said, R.I.P. is Sporty T. You know what I'm saying? And um, it was just unfortunate you know, the event that happened to him. And um, I'm here. I'm here to carry his name. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, me, Mac, all of us grew up under him. You know what I'm saying? He pioneered uh, him and Gregory D. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have no, you know, I'll make sure I make make sure his name heard. You know what I'm saying? 
Peace, family. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check us out on bout.online.com. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook for exclusive playlists and social media for all different types of segments and content.